Hi guys, V here from VTO Gaming, and we're back in Dark Souls 2. Today, we're going to get ourselves a nice big sword. We've been threatening for the last couple of videos that we were going to get something big and shiny. Today is the day we finally get it. The Black Knight Greatsword. We just killed the Pursuer and the Smelter Demon down there. And I've cleared two Rhino Knights from here. Watch me fall off. Here we go. Whoop. Okay. And there would be an archer there that I cleared just for the speed of this video. Head in this door. Give this something to eat. Nom nom. Now, if you weren't playing offline, be aware that the Belfry Sol is a high traffic PvP area. You're going to be invaded numerous times. Have a shiny. Pointless ring. Light this bonfire. And up we go. Now, I can't praise this sword enough. Um, oh, this would be the gnome that we met in the last belfry, but since we killed him, we get a grave instead. No, I don't want to pray. I want to open the door. There we go. <clears throat> and we're being attacked by flaming midgets. Oh. Okay, I'm going to run out and get some space. What you going to do? Owned. You going to cast the magic on me? Nope. Looks like he's going to get poisoned and die. Okay, so there should be one more... And the small guy's kicking about somewhere. He may be stuck. Okay. I am aware that there's a large knight with a two-hander kicking about as well. Just try and get the poison on this guy first. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Ow. I was hoping to get the shield break on him, but obviously not. For some reason it's not happening today. And he doesn't want to be poisoned either. I'm going to walk out his way. Let the poison kill him. There's a little hidden space down here. Um, ring the bell. Now, despite being offline, we may still get invaded by an NPC phantom. Just check for any hidden loot. Yep, there we go. I'm 
poison should get him. There we go. Oh, hello. It's another knight. Ow, ow, ow. Oh well. That was short and sweet. Look if we lit that bonfire, eh? We'll get to that nice friendly area after we've done with this. Come on. There's the poison. And that seems to be useful, um, with the exception of the small NPCs with the flaming torches. The others seem to be one kill, and then they don't respawn. We'll test that with this archer up here. Yep, he's gone. So we only have one more knight to kill. And the bellkeeper. Yeah, great. Right, where's this guy coming up? There he's there. Come on. <clears throat> These are one of the enemies that highlight the problem with the hit detection in this one. And the pathing. Despite you being behind them and the attack to the front, all of a sudden the enemy's animation will spin round and he just shield broke me. Ah oh dear. Right. Like that. Was behind him, but he still managed to get the hit. And again. See if we can get away with dropping down on him. Nope. Because my auto targeting doesn't work, but his is great. Okay, now we'll get our sword. Four is enough for the poison. Just 
be aware of these weapons dark enchanted and fire enchanted rusted coin what's this another space always nice We will go and kill that bell keeper. Just not yet. And make our way through here. And right here, secret wall. So we don't have the intelligence and we don't have the faith, but we have 53,000 souls, so we should be able to get both. Should be a straight drop off, it is. And we'll just head straight back to Majula. Okay, guys, I'll grind up my stats. We'll put some pluses on this sword and we'll use it to head through and kill the next boss. I've been V at VTO Gaming. Hope you enjoyed some of that video. And I'll see you next time. Take care.